Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, we're going to work on rounding numbers to a specific place value. So a good example of what I'm talking about is maybe taking a number like 23,729,015 and instead of rounding it to like one of these places out here, really looking for some other specific place like the 10,000th place and instead rounding it to that one. So if I did take a number like this and ran it to the 10,000th place, it turned into 23,730,000. All right, so I got some tips for uh, this to make it nice and easy. And here's essentially what you want to do. First, you want to identify the place value that you are trying to round it to. And of course, that really depends on how well you know your place values, but you got to find it first to even begin the process. Next, you're going to check the digit to the right to see how big that one is. If it's 0 through 4, you want to round your number down, and then if it's 5 through 9, you want to round it up. In the rounding down process, you essentially keep the number the same, make all the rest of them zeros. In the rounding up process, you actually change your number in the place value you're interested in to the next highest number. So watch for that in the examples to come. Uh, and of course, after you've uh, done your rounding, you want to replace the rest of your digits to the right with lots of different zeros. All right, so the first part of this is making sure that you know your place values. Remember that a place value is really determined by where the number is located. So you have your ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, and really beyond that. Uh, and that will help you identify what number you're interested in. All right, so now that all that information is out of the way, let's get into some examples. For this first example, we want to take a couple of numbers and round them to the hundreds place. So to start off, I'm going to look for the hundreds place in my number. So I have ones, tens, and hundreds. So that's the place I want to round it to. Now, once we've identified it, we need to go ahead and check the number immediately to the right to see how big that is. Uh, in this number, we see that it's a two, so I actually want to round this number down. So what's that going to mean for us? Well, it means everything to the left is not going to be changed. So I'll still have a 4, I'll still have a 6, done. And since this is being rounded down, we'll keep the 3 exactly the same, and we'll put in zeros for everything else to the right. So rounded to the hundreds place, this is now 46,300. All right, let's give this another try with the next number. Uh, same idea, we want to also round this one to the hundreds place. So I have 1s tens, and then hundreds. So I'm just going to underline that. Now we'll check the number immediately to the right to see how big, big that one is. Uh, this one is a six, so I need to round it up. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So everything to the left is going to stay the same. I'll still have a seven, and now I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that three. Since we are rounding up, I'm going to round it to the next biggest number, so it's going to turn into a four, and then everything after that is going to be a zero. So this one is now uh, 7,400. Now rounding is a kind of a tricky process, so we will go through a few more examples so you get a better idea of how this is working. This next one we want, want to round to the tens place. Not ten thousands, not hundred thousands, just the tens place. So that would be this five right here. Checking it off to the right side there. I can see that it's a, a 5, so we need to round this one up. All right, let's see what that turns it into. So everything to the left, we're going to keep the same. So I still have a 3, still have a 4, still have a 0. Now what should I do with that 5? Well, we're rounding up, so we're going to change it into a 6, and then zeros after all that rounding is done. All right, let's do two more examples. Call it good. So in these next two, we are wanting to round to the millions place. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions place. And now we'll check right before it to see what we need to do. Uh, looks like the eight is going to tell us to round up. So I want to change the one into the next biggest number. So that's going to change it into a two. Okay, now that I've rounded that one, I'll change everything else into a zero off to the right. Uh, so it looks like it rounds to a nice two million. All right, one more example, rounding to the millions place. So I have 
ones, tens, hundreds, uh, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and I don't know, it looks like I'm out of millions, but it would essentially be this spot right here. Well, if there's nothing there, you can imagine this being a zero and really just continue on with the process. So it's a zero, and I'm going to say, all right, what do I need to round this to? Uh, looks like the number right after it is a five, so we will round this one up as well. So I need to change zero into the next biggest digit. That'd be a one. And zeros for everything after that. Zero, 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 zero. Perfect. So you can see by identifying the place value first, you really have a, a good focus on what number you're trying to change. Numbers to the left do not get changed. Numbers to the right all get changed to zeros, and you should be in good shape. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.